Okay, um, the, following up with the definition of the line integral, I'll just apologize and just say that for the line integral, which is written as integrate f dot with dr, okay, it's actually the line integral of the vector field f over the curve c, as opposed to on the curve c, which I think I mentioned on a previous lesson. Okay, but uh, my apologies, from now on, I will try to use the word over and let's um, carry on with the lesson. Okay, so. Like I said, the, the, the line integral is defined, the line integral of the vector field f over the curve c is given by this, okay? Now, there's a few general steps that, that you can do because we seem intimidated by such a function like this. As we all know, in normal single variable calculus, we are used to integrating like a, a single function. But I emphasize again that this is a dot product, so you have actually got two things to deal with. So, the few steps that we can do is that we first find our first derivative of r in terms of t, okay? Because later, this one is gonna be substituted with uh, r, sorry, r dash, okay, r dash dt. Right, okay, and I explained, it's very easy to go from here to here. You're just differentiating r with respect to t. In fact, it, it actually it just explains itself, okay? But I will just do the whole process for clarity, okay? So you first differentiate this, then you form the dot product, okay? And then after that, you can make the substitution because, you see, the vector field, we know that the vector field is given in terms of the, the x, y, and z, the vector components x, y, and z. The vector field, it gives a vector of multivariables, sorry, it is based on multiple variables x, y, and z. Again, seems very intimidating, but you will see that it's, it's quite easy after a while. Okay, um, some general pointers, the position vector is of vital importance because it forms the link between the, the, the variable t and the x, y, and z. Okay, so once you do that, you dot the two together, you get an, a function that's solely in t, and then you can integrate. Okay, so now, we got the vector field, okay, that's defined by this, okay? x, i, take away y, z, j, take away e, z. What does it mean? It means that, again, I re-emphasize the definitions, you pick a point on the space, x, y, z, you get a certain vector. So now, we want to take the line integral, so we're going to integrate that over the curve c. Meanings will come in the second lesson, so just stay tuned. We are more interested in the mechanical process now, which is of importance as well. Okay, the curve C is given by this position vector over here. Parameter is t from zero, uh, t from zero to one. So it's given like that. Okay. So now the first step is to find dr. Okay. So I'll just do the whole thing for clarity. Okay. So d, well, we got r is here the position vector. So we need to differentiate r with respect to t. Okay, and that will give us 3t squared i take away i take away k. Sorry, plus take away i take away j plus k. No problem at all. So, after this, what do we have? We have dr is equals to this thing over here. Take away j plus k. And we just bring the dt over. Just like you're integrating by substitution, not a problem at all. So, this dr, we can now put it inside here. But I would also like to remind you that this can be represented as r dash t dt. Okay, this is just again to re-emphasize that you can rewrite it like that. Okay, or you can just immediately start differentiating the individual component functions if you want to. So now we see that we got this thing over here. Okay, which is got an i, we got a j, and the k. Okay, and then we can dot this with the vector field over here. See, that's why we got the dot product over here. So now we can dot this one over here with the vector field, okay, which is what we're going to do. What, how to take the dot product, you simply take the i component here, multiply by this, j multiply by j, k multiply by k, and then you add them up together, okay? So, I'm just going to write it down fully, so f, okay, r dash t dt, which is what we have over here, so f would be i take away y z j take away e z k, and we're going to dot this, okay, with the one over here, which is 3t squared i take away j plus k, and then dt and back. So, taking the usual dot product, what do we have? We got 3x t squared, okay, don't be intimidated with the x, y, and z at the moment, okay. Now, we got a plus, we got a minus, we got a minus, so it becomes a plus, and we got y, z, okay. And then we got a minus here, so we dot with one, we got an e, z, okay, sorry, this is uh, integrate c, so we dot them up together, sorry, I forgot the integrate sign here, so 
Okay, so then we dot them up together, so we integrate, so we dot them up, and then that is done. So we got um, with respect to t. Okay, notice after the dot product, the i, j, and k components disappear. Well, essentially, that's what it does because when we dot two vectors together, we get a scalar just like how we got a scalar here. So you've, you've reached this step. However, you might be wondering, wow, now I got a function with a, 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 a x, y, and z, and on top of that, I got a t. Okay, there's four variables. Well, that is why I always like to say, or I always say that the position vector comes in very handy in this equation over here because it is this position vector that allows you to change the variables in the integral so that you can integrate it with respect to t. Well, how do I change it? Well, we know that if this is the position vector, the x, y, and z components are given by the component functions over here. Okay? It, it can go both ways. So, what do I mean by that? Well, this is the position vector, and what is x? What's the, the point x defined on the curve? Well, the point x is defined by t, t cubed. The point y is defined by minus t, and the point z is defined by t. Does that make sense? This is the position vector from t equals from t to 0 to 1. I think of whatever value I put it inside here, I get the respective x, y, z components. Okay, just like how I will get the respective x, y, z components over here, okay, for the vector field. Okay, now not to be confused, uh, I want to make this interpretation a bit clearer, okay, because as always at Gaussian math, we emphasize pursuit of academic excellence. Okay, I am not sure who came up with that. You see, for the vector field, right, we think of an x, y, z, we think of an x, y, z, and then we would put in the values of x, y, z, and we get the vector from the vector field. However, we are integrating vector field over the curve C. So whatever point on the curve that we choose to put inside the vector field, that same point is going to lie on the curve. Okay, does that make sense? Okay. Here we go. Here's a good illustration. Okay, vector field F, right, is X, Y, Z, and then this is the vector field. So pick whatever X, Y, Z. Pick down here, the vector field gives me here. Pick down here, the vector field gives me here. Pick down here, the vector field gives me here. So this is the vector field F. Okay. However, I'm integrating the vector field over the curve C. So now, whatever point I pick, I'm going to pick a point on the curve. For example, pick a point over here, vector field gives me here. Pick a point over here, the vector field gives me here. Pick a point over here, the vector field gives me here. That is why I can use these parameters from the position vector because whatever points I want to pick for the vector field are points on the curve. That's why I'm using these um, uh, functions to really um, pick the, the coordinates in relation to what t I pick. Okay, so I'm um, sorry, that's the clearest I can say. So, now I just make the quick substitution, okay, for the x, y, z over here, okay, which is integrate, so I got a 3, x is t3, so it becomes a t5, plus, okay, y times z, so t, there'll be a minus, there'll be a minus t squared, and e, z is t, so take away e, t here, like that dt. And that is what it means. It means that I would use the position vector, okay, the co sorry, the component functions of the position vector x, y, z, and substitute inside the integral, just like how I did over here. And now, the whole thing is written in t, thanks to the position vector, okay, I can integrate it, and it becomes 6, it will be half t6, take away 1 over 3 t cube, and uh, I think so, and evaluate it from 0 to 1. And if I'm not wrong, the answer you get is minus 5 over 6 plus e. Okay, and that is how we do it. Hey, is that correct? Okay, well, anyways, at least now we know the step. Is it minus or t plus? Okay, doesn't matter. You can go find the answer yourself or look at the web page. So, that is what we have to bear in mind, okay? When we integrate, we're integrating the vector field over the curve C. The curve C is defined by R. R allows us to make the substitution x, y, and z so that we can make the substitution over the integral. Evaluate the integral in terms of t and then substitute the values inside and there we go. The line integral, a basic example. If you think that is basic, okay? Thanks.